Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful overcomers. How y'all doing today? Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday, even though it feels like Monday. <laughs> yes, I'm in my car. I have an errand to run. Let's go ahead and put a prayer on today. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Thank you for keeping us all safe last night, Lord God. Thank you for the many blessings that you're bestowing on our lives daily, Father. Lord, thank you for food to eat, clothes to wear, Lord God, and having a house, a roof over our head. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Lord God, thank you for everything that you've done. I'm just coming to you today because I'm getting ready to ride to an appointment and just want to come um, and talk to y'all for a minute. This is going to be a very short video. Uh, number one, I want to make sure that you guys see that I tried to upload a video uh, for two whole days and my internet was acting crazy, but I just uploaded a video yesterday and it says Grocery Haul and Panda Express. But y'all, in that video, watch it through the end because I share with y'all many, many blessings that the Lord has been bestowing upon my life. And I got some very exciting news in that video that I'm super happy about, that I've been asking and praying for clarity on. Y'all watch the video, okay? So please go back to tomorrow's video and watch it throughout. And let me know what you think because I'm using my brand new camera. Now, this is my phone that I'm using right now. But on that video, that's the first time I used my camera that I told y'all I was getting. So please watch that video. All right, let's get to riding. <laughs> oh, so how are y'all doing today? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? I took today off. So yeah, I had me a four day weekend. <laughs> um, I had an appointment today and plus I'm just taking time off. I like to take days off um, when it's like right at the holiday because it gives you more more time and help you, you know, stretch out your days. <laughs> so yeah, but when you hear my, new, my exciting news in the previous video, the video from yesterday that I recorded two days ago, you will know uh, part of what this smile is about. Because, like I said, uh, blessings on blessings on blessings. And I'm just overjoyed, thankful, happy, all of that. I hope the sun does not take it. Uh, yeah, because the sun is, is shining really bright this morning. It's 9.30. I decided to go ahead and get on up and get out here. And um, run my little errand that I got to do for my blessing that I'm going to tell y'all about. in my That I told y'all about in my previous video. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like the videos, share, comment, all of that. I truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, and so I hope that your week is starting off great because mine is. <laughs> I hope that it is. And anything that um, I came here to tell somebody, I know that anything that was affecting you or that you had to overcome for the month of May, baby, it's June the 1st. Leave it in May. Leave it over there. Yeah, you ain't worried about that. You ain't dealing with that. It's June 1st. It's the first of the month. New day, new month. Leave it over there, okay? Leave it over there. No, we ain't dealing with that. So whatever was going on in May, that was May, honey. June got new blessings and new, new things that you're going to overcome. So don't worry about it. Leave it right on over there. Leave it in God's hand and keep it moving, okay? Yeah, we're not doing that. Mm-mm. Nope. And y'all see how fast this year is going? Like, we're already in the middle of the year. It's like, wow. For long, we'll be talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas again. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, time is just flying. Everybody out and cooking out and everything. It's just, people are just so happy to be able to get back together again. You know, vaccinated or not. You know, you got to live, so... Just still take precautions, y'all. Whether you've been vaccinated or not, if I were you, especially if you don't know if people sick and stuff, because everybody can still get the, um, be sick. Uh, uh, I would still wear my mask, um, you know, especially if somebody's, like you said, if they sneezing or coughing or something. Um, and definitely keep your hands sanitized and stuff, y'all. Now wipe things down. Don't stop doing that, because really I think it all happened because we all had gotten two too lazy with that you know we were we were just letting things slide when people should have been a lot cleaner anyway so we were too relaxed so let's keep doing that i'm really happy that the restaurants are cleaning more and doing more makes me feel better about ordering <laughs> yes yes so what's going on in y'all's life 
it feels so good already my car says it's 68 degrees already and the sun is bright and shiny it feels awesome already at 9 30 a.m this tuesday morning so i'm just gonna run that errand i'll probably stop by um publix or one of these grocery stores i usually use uh, kroger but i might stop at publix uh and or you know, whatever's near this appointment thing and um i just gotta pick up a couple of things other than that i'm not doing oh and i need to go to um i'm gonna try a uh, ulta beauty because i usually just go to belts and get me some like like little foundation stuff or whatever for like little spots but i want to get some concealer concealer i think is what i need to go under my eye so i'm gonna stop and see can i match something up you know you know always trying to you know look presentable yeah so because I, I just think it's I don't know hereditary like my my aunt's like I don't want to be like that though. mine's not bad but I notice it so I don't know the things we all deal with we all got blemishes and scars and things in life you know whether it's on our body or in our mind or in our heart but what we can do is is deal with them and try to get something to make it better you know what I'm saying so whatever you're going through this morning I pray that you overcome it today I pray that the Lord answer every last one of your prayers and pour down, open up the floodgates and pour down every blessing you deserve, you've been asking for and you want. In the name of Jesus, I do. And like I said in my previous video, when you go back and watch it, prayer without faith is dead. If you're going to pray and not have faith that it's going to happen, then don't even worry about praying, baby, because you got to have faith, okay? You got to know that he going to do what he going to do. And if you don't have that, then don't even worry about it. Because prayer the prayer is dead if you don't have faith that he gonna do it for you so yeah that's how it is because he's been answering every one of mine for years i'm telling you and it's all in his timing y'all it's when he gets you ready when he start moving people out your life people start moving trust and believe he's gonna open up the floodgates because he don't increase you in front of a lot of folks he gotta move much away he gotta get you where he needs you to be so keep that in mind keep that in mind and i love you and so does god okay i do and i know he does yep and if you already got your first blessing if you're looking at this video because he don't woke you up this morning so go ahead and get on your knees and give him thanks yeah give him the thanks that's right so yeah i'm just out here y'all you know what y'all i'm gonna say this and then i'm not gonna hold y'all long but you know what kills me about people? Family. They ain't got to be family. It can be anybody. Because I'm talking about just anybody. People kill me how they treat you a certain way. Or do you wrong. Or be ugly to you. Or have an attitude about anything. Because I had this to happen on my birthday weekend. And for no reason. Right? But then when you react to it the way you react to it. Meaning that. You know maybe i just you know let you know that you know i thought that was real ugly but hey it's okay or you try to deny it you know now i'm i'm the villain and you the victim because of the way i'm saying i noticed it and um yeah it wasn't right i would never do that and that's not how family's supposed to be or friends are supposed to be and then now i'm the victim and you you i'm the villain and you the victim because of how i reacted to the way you treated me I can't stand when people do that. Like, really? Like, you need to be more accountable for your actions, okay? You can't treat people any kind of way and be nasty and ugly then when they react to it the way they react to it. Now, all of a sudden, oh, they wrong for that. Like, they just need to give you a pass. No. No. Mm-mm. Done with giving people passes, y'all. Done with giving people passes. No, no, and no. When you do ugly or act ugly or react to a way that you know you shouldn't, you don't deserve a pass. No, you need to stand on that. You need to be accountable for the way that you acted. You need to uh, apologize and say, you know what? I probably did act that way and I'm sorry. This is what I had going, whatever. Don't act like that. This, it didn't happen and that you making up something. That is, whew, that's the pet peeve of mine. Like, people kill me with that. And just because you a friend or a family member or whatever you are, co-worker, whatever, does not give you a pass to do that. And I don't have to accept that. I don't. I don't have to talk to you and relieve you. And say, oh, well, you know, that's just how people... No, I'm not doing that. Nope. Keeping my peace, my happiness, and you're going to treat me right. You are. I'm going to teach you how to treat me. Because that's what you have to do with people is teach them how to treat you. And once you do something like that, I don't give you the chance to do that again. No. Not saying I won't speak to you or 
you know, I'm, I'm mad with you and now. It's none of that. It's just that I just know how to treat you, up, feed you out long handle spoons from here on out. Okay? So, you got people like that in your life. Don't get on people passes. Don't be talking about no, oh, it's a no. I'm okay. Like, it's all good. It's cool. It's cool. But the next time I won't be trying to run and be nice to you, I'll just feed you out. I'm going to speak and keep it moving. Because, no, it don't cost you nothing to speak. But you, what you're not going to do is treat me how you want to treat me the way when you, when you want to treat me that way. No. We're not doing that. Yeah. Start standing for you, y'all. That's what you do. Because people will do you dirty and treat you any kind of way if you let them. Stop letting them because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve You deserve the absolute best. You understand me? The same respect and Lord today want you give it. You need to receive it. So. You need to receive that. Just had that on my heart. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just came to check on y'all today and just let y'all know that uh, that video is late. But um, I hope you, I pray that you guys had a happy Memorial Day. I love you guys so much and so does God. I'm on an errand. Uh, I might come back to you later on today on my camera, but I don't know yet. I'm just out and about and decide to um, go ahead and talk to you guys for a minute. And if anybody needed any encouragement to try to do that, you know, um, I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I love y'all. Hopefully, I'll be growing soon. Who knows? I, I'm, I'm learning, so it's taking me some time to learn, but I am trying to learn. So bear with me. I thank y'all for loving me anyway. I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.